Hi everyone, welcome to Starway Fleet. So this is a space game that supports VR as well as regular PC play. Prepare your vessels for the next jump. Six more and we'll reach the Trappist One in no time. It is a we six degrees contact. freedom flying Enemy game. Fighters enter the sector. All civilian ships. Take we have bogeys here. I'm gonna go in. Block the enemy's calculated trajectory. Fighters, intercept and engage the bogeys. All right, let's engage these bogeys. Break formation and take position behind the convoy. Roger that. Scatter and loosen up formation. Gotta make sure Cruiser not to hit the civilian down. ships that Report I'm trying to defend. Immediately when your FTL drives are ready to jump. There we go. So this game is all about these large fleet battles. I got my own fleet of civilian ships to defend against a sizable chunk of enemy contact. fighters. We have 18 more bogeys inbound. I 18, damn. 18 more enemy fighters enter the sector. Understood. Copy that. This is Frigate Rigo. FTL is okay. ready. This is support ship Mural. We are ready to jump. This is Frigate Rigo. You have to manage your pits. Putting them into weapons because I'm using the four shot burst lasers, which are the most energy draining of all the weapons that you can use. All ships, prepare to jump. Alright. Three, two, one. The fleet's jumping jump. away. Get out of here. Civilian ship collision. Yeah. We are in trouble. Our MTL drive is disabled. I repeat, we are unable to jump. Alright. Gotta defend this last ship. And cover your ship. Fighters, assume position around the civilians and watch for enemy fighters. If the fleet follows protocol, someone will come back for us. We have to okay. hold on. Just keep knocking them down. Uh oh, I'm taking some damage. Copy that. My shield's at 100%, so I should be okay. The shield regen system in this game is kind of interesting. You actually have two shields. So when you lose your first shield, it goes down, and the next one pops up at 100% after about seven seconds. But then when you lose your second shield, your shields are gone for good until you land on a mothership and recharge and get repaired. So since I only have one shield left, oh shit, got a missile coming at me, got to launch my uh, decoy to absorb it. Oh yeah, okay. Just gotta make sure I'm paying attention when I take damage and diverting pips to shields. But for now, these ships don't appear to be too interested in me. I also have missiles I can launch, but I'm saving them. These guys don't have shields. They're pretty easy. It is launching fighters. Everybody, get ready. Understood. Pick off these stragglers. We got more incoming. We'll try to stay as far as possible from that carrier. Copy that. Changing course to three two six. Contact. I'm getting fifteen enemy fighters coming from the Torgian carrier. These are fighter bombers. All right. Destroy their shields first. <laughs> Shit ton more Put enemies incoming, including ships. one huge ship. Understood. There we go. Took some hits there. I'm just gonna go in and start attacking these guys. They have shields now, so I'm gonna start using my torpedoes, which are really good against their shields. Oh, that guy used the decoy. Another torpedo. All right, shields are down. Save my regular missiles for the main ship itself. Come on, break that shield. There we go. Shit, my shield is really low. Okay, I must have bumped into something there. Alright, I'm going to move in on this ship and start destroying its cannons. Actually, 
Looks like our civilian ship is in trouble here. Enemy behind me. Okay. Yeah, alright. This thing is Please. shooting at We're our ship now. Fighters, concentrate so fire on the high power cannons of the Torgian carrier. Let's hit them! See, this ship has a ton of laser turrets on it, which it's bombarding our civilian ship with now. If I swap over to missiles, I can get in here, put all my pips towards shields, and then just take down these turrets and missiles. I should actually get over this way, because these are the ones that are actually attacking. This is Task Force Walking! I can't let my shield go down. Long come. shield. Glad to have you here. This is Super Cruiser Harris. Frigid Nails. Keep the okay. ship safe Whoops. from enemy fighters. Destroy your purpose. Take up position between the Torgan carrier and the civilian ship. Understood. Copy that. Fighters. Out of missiles. Destroy your shield generators on the Torgan carrier. With pleasure. Okay. Now we gotta destroy the shield generator. There's our uh, our ally over here. Fuck yeah. Okay, where are the shield generators at? Well, that's not a shield generator, but I'll take it. Here we go, these blue things. <laughs> so satisfying. Yeah, this game is really cool just because of the massive fleet fights against these huge ships and stuff. Very epic feeling. It's pretty simple though. Pretty straightforward. There's no like progression or anything. Not much of a storyline. It's just you do these random missions that involve massive space battles. Okay, there must be more around here somewhere. Here we go. More shield generators. Okay. I think that said there are three left. It's so cool in VR, just with the sense of scale, it just feels like it's this massive freaking ship. Yes, it is. Okay. I'm not seeing the HUD indicator for the shield generator. There's, there's a couple more somewhere around here. And almost my entire hull. I need to dock at my mothership. Oh, there it is. I'm gonna sneak. Oh, okay. <laughs> the mission ended, so I don't have to worry about that. Okay, so this game has, I think, 10 missions total, right? You can access all of them right from the start. You don't have to play through them in order. 
Uh, and then you can do multiplayer co-op as well, and then there's also a survival mode. So that was just mission one. Let's check out... Defend the mining facility, that sounds fun. So I'm gonna go check out this other mission. I haven't done this one yet. So let's see how I do. Oh yeah, this is a cool stage. Flight leader to Cruiser Cannabis. Patrol is returning. Request clearance to dock. This is Cruiser Cannabis. Right. You are cleared to land. So there is the Cruiser Cannabis, which is our mother ship. I have to fly into that blue area to repair. Engage them. Panther's Claw, engage. Okay. Cruiser Cannabis to mining facility. Dock the mining ship. Engage here. Activate your automatic defense turrets. Roger that. All for gates. Take up positions around the facility. Circle around it and provide cover. These are like the default lasers, and then you can switch to even slower firing lasers. You can do a machine gun like this. The machine gun's pretty good against these enemies because they don't have shields. It does extra damage to hull. And then my personal favorite is the uh, four shot lasers. Because they fuck up shields and hull. There's the mining facility itself. Oh, we got multiple warships coming in. This is a cool mission. Alright, I gotta spend less time uh, checking out all the sites. More time actually defending this mining facility. Got some big ass enemy warships. I have contact. I'm picking up another group of Torkian fighters. These are fighter bombers. Destroy their shields first. Oh, that that torpedo connected. This guy start trying to do some damage to these turrets. They're all over me. Some distance. Shield is pretty low. actually go land here at my mothership because I have 55% hull, one of my shields is down. All you have to do is just fly into the second blue zone. Contact! There are torpedo fighters hiding behind the asteroid. Ship's repairing. And it launches me out. My shields are back up. My hull's repaired. And I believe I have uh Restocked ammo. Yeah, I did. Sweet. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Uh, yeah, so this is really fun. It's like six degrees of freedom flight. Flying around in these crazy environments with a massive fleet. 
You can actually fight against the enemy capital ships as well. Each individual fight is uh, pretty simple, but there's so many ships, it's still fun. Ooh, damn. Like a little too close to the asteroid there. That's the, that's the one thing I've noticed, is that the AI is uh, not really that great. So, overall, it's a pretty simple game. It's like a $10 game, too. But, these type of space games are so fun in VR that I'm still having a great time playing it. Oh, yeah. Triple kill. It's a cool game because you can just jump in, jump right into a crazy, massive space battle, and then jump out. And I'm glad that it's true Six Degrees of Freedom with... Uh, Vertical and lateral thrusters, forward and reverse. Only options you want. I don't think there's any way to like uh, turn off flight assist to give you anything resembling Newtonian flight, but uh, that's okay. Let's see. Here we go. Oh. My shields went down. Ah, uh, here we go. Need to get these shield generators. Oops. You actually boost backwards in this game, unlike Elite Dangerous, where you always boost forwards. Well, you can boost backwards. Depends on your throttle direction. Yeah! Loving the explosions. damage here. Okay. So I've taken out six shield generators on here. There's apparently three more. Let's go find them. generators are now. Oh damn, okay. Got a little too close there. And the last one behind the engines. Looks like our friendly ships know where those are too. player you can do missions survival or custom battle so you can set up any sort of battle you want the enemy team your own team it's pretty cool and you can also do survival so I'll go into this survival try it out and wrap up the video with this so survival is just like a wave-based shooter basically except uh, in a Six Years of Freedom space game. So, you launch out of your ships, this part's always fun. 
you play this game with HOTUS, with a gamepad, or with mouse and keyboard. It does not support any sort of VR motion controls or anything like that. Um, but HOTUS is supported really well. You can customize each key, and you can also do stuff like set dead zones and sensitivity and stuff within the game. So it's nice to see that level of HOTUS support from a fairly simple VR game. And that is the main reason I like this game, is because these Six Degrees of Freedom space uh, fighting games are really awesome and really fun with HOTUS, especially in VR when you can look all around, check out your cockpit and stuff, and track your enemies, which I should be doing right now. Uh, it's one of my favorite types of games to play in VR, so even though this game is fairly simple, straightforward, doesn't really have any progression or any sort of cohesive storyline. It's, I still think it's worth ten bucks just because it's fun to play. You can play it with your friends if you coordinate together. And, uh, the graphics look good, the performance is good, and the HOTUS support is really good too. And if you play Elite Dangerous, you will be able to, like, latch on to this flight system immediately with the way you manage pips and everything like that. Okay, I'm on wave contact. 3 out of 10. Keep going until I die, or I lose, or I win. Never know. Okay, I gotta switch up my weapon. For 4 shots. a little bit better here. Here we go. Okay. God damn, so many enemy ships. And I just took a hit. One of my shields is gone. Ships Major coming down. Destroy their shields first. All right, we got even tougher ships coming in. Wave four. Oh. <laughs> it's gonna take on anyone close to our allied ship. Okay. That was right in front of me. Alright, launching torpedoes. And another torpedo. There we go. Nice. We have contact. Nine enemy fighters enter the sector. Alright, wave five. Nine more enemies. So this mode is actually pretty fun. In this uh, style of game. That would be a good time to dock. Oh, that's the wrong side of the ship. So scratch that plan. Here we go. It's also the wrong side of the ship. It's disoriented. Detecting new contacts. These are fighter bombers. Destroy their shields first. Boom. <laughs> oh god, oh god. It's okay, I'm getting repaired. I made it. Okay. Wave six. Over halfway there. Got a shield. See, the thing about shields in this game is that they regen very fast, but once you destroy them, they're gone. Oh! 
Boom! This guy's heck of low HP. my first time trying survival mode. Actually, pretty fun. The other survival mode is uh, against capital ships. It's like six waves of capital ships. And that could be fun too, but I'm also just liking the regular hunting down small ships. start busting out my regular missiles against these other ships since I'm not fighting capital ships here. There we go. Get a missile. Oh god, kamikaze in. I guess this is the only option. Detecting new contacts. Enemy light fighters ahead. Nice. Light fighters are the ones without shields. So this shouldn't be too tough. Boom! <laughs> Missiles destroy them. How many do I have left? Three missiles left. go land and replenish all my missiles and torpedoes. So that's a pretty cool mechanic. Combat landings on your mothership. Easy peasy. Here he is. Oh god, missile coming for me. I still got him. Okay, I'm a lot of missiles now. Let's try the machine gun. Be more accurate at range. There we go. Contacts. These are fighter bombers. Destroy their shields first. Oh god. Yeah, I made it. Your lateral and vertical thrusters are not very powerful. You do have them, but they're not that powerful. Oh shit. Okay, I'm gonna switch back to these boys. So close! Ah! Oh, I, I don't know what happened. I think our, <laughs> our mothership died. But anyways, that is Starway Fleet. So, overall, I think it's a fun game. It's a simple game. Don't expect a lot of depth out of this game. It's just a game that you can jump into, have a fun six degrees of freedom, massive space fight in and then jump out. <laughs> but it is uh, pretty fun at that. I like all the voice acting and the cool explosions, the capital ship fights. The uh, flight model is, it is six degrees of freedom. There's no changing your ship though, so it's always going to be the same. Meek thrusters and, um, but it is still fun. I had a lot of fun with the flight model, so there's nothing wrong with it. Um, just overall, I thought it was a solid buy of 10 bucks, just because I love these sort of games. So if you're in this sort of games, you definitely don't, don't need a HOTUS, you can just play it with a gamepad if you have that. Um, then check out this one, because I had fun playing it. Uh, it's similar to House of the Dying Sun, which is another really awesome 
space arcade type combat game where you just do a bunch of random missions. So check out either of those games if you're interested in this genre. And check out my channel if you want to see more virtual reality gameplay content. And have a great day. And goodbye. One of the really cool aspects of this game is that it has full VR controller support, Oculus Rift, and HTC Vive. So basically you can turn on gesture controls and then you just move around the motion controller. So you roll it to roll, you move it up and down for pitch, 